All right, today's the day we're going to learn how to solve a simple system of equations with a single variable. You're going to show your work, and you're going to also learn how to prove your answer. Begin by copying down this system of equations, 4x minus 4 equals 2x plus 6. Remember, our goal, as we've talked about in class, but in case you missed it, our goal is to end up with something that looks like this. X on one side and a number on the other side. Not 2x, not 3x, just a single x and a single number, right? So this is going to involve, we're going to have to combine like terms. We're going to have to find opposites to create zeros. And we're also going to have to simplify things, okay? Those are the steps we need to know, the skills we have to accomplish our goal. X equals the answer. So, let's start off with, we can choose any one of these four things here. And if I had the time, I'd make a nice long video and do the same problem four times to prove it. But, you're going to have to trust me on this one. And I'm going to choose to take the opposite of 2x to begin with. Why? Keeping my goal in mind. Okay. So I'm choosing to take the opposite of 2x. I show my work by indicating this opposite and then doing it to both sides. <clears throat> by doing both sides it stays equal. That is so important. Do these operations to both sides. Underneath the line, we're going to rewrite the equation with what's left. Now I have 2x minus 4. That became a 0, so it's just gone, right? Not there anymore, but I still have a 6. Okay, we're closer to the goal, but we're not there yet. Next step, since I have the x's on the left side, I need to get this 4 out of here. I need to get all the numbers on the right side. So... I'm going to take the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4. Both sides, because we want to keep them equal, right? 4 equals 4, this equals that, so everything stays equal and everybody's happy. What that leaves me with over here, of course, that's a big 0, so that goes away. I have a 2x, and 6 plus 4 is 10. I'm getting closer, right? With each step, I'm looking over here, or you're mentally thinking while you're doing this. Am I at my goal? Have I achieved it? And we're almost there. <clears throat> I don't want to know what 2x equals. I want to know what a single x equals. And to get this, the last step, almost every time, is going to be division. Okay, when we get into more complicated things, sometimes when we have a fraction there, we'll learn that it's multiplication. But for now, almost every time, you're going to have to divide as the last step. Okay, so... 2x divided in half, of course, leaves us with a single x, and 10 divided in half gives us 5. So there we have an answer, but that's just an answer. We don't know if it's right or wrong until we do a proof. Here's how you do that. A proof is just another word for checking your answer. We're going to substitute what we think is the answer into our original equation. We know all about substitution. So let me show you. First I'll just rewrite it to remind you of what it is. I'm going to move this up. Now I can see it better. <clears throat> that means everywhere I see x I'm going to trade it and put a 5 in instead and perform all the operations combining like terms and simplifying. 4 times 5 minus 4 equals 2 times 5 plus 6. First we're going to get rid of the parentheses by multiplying. Then instead of two numbers we want one so we need to combine like terms. These terms are numbers which can be combined. 20 minus 4 is 16. 10 plus 6 is 16. This is true as we talked about, true is the key word when we're defining a solution. Solution, just to review, that's the value 
that makes an equation true. In this case, 5 made this equation true. So it's the solution. So we'll put our little <laughs> celebration around the 5. That's how we do it. Quick review. We started, it's called a system of equations. That just means when I have more than one equation on both sides of an equal sign. Okay, So it's kind of two expressions that equal each other. It's called a system of equations. We started by uh, performing addition or subtraction. Then we still had more to do. And then we finished by doing division, or in some cases it's going to be multiplying. You never want to start with multiplying or division. In these problems, we always start by adding or subtracting something. The way we decide is it's an opposite of something else. Okay. Then we had an answer, but before we got too happy, it's time to prove it. Substitute the answer into the original equation to see if it's true, which that helps us make our definition of the word solution. That's the value that makes it true. Thanks for watching, and off you go.